Lucy, I wanted to bring you in here on <laughs> what happened with the David Pollack deleted tweet. Uh, he has deleted the tweet, and uh, this has been interesting to watch, Dugats, because what has been college football's most popular show for a really long time, game day, uh, an atmosphere unlike most pioneering television show, Pollock was at the center of it for a long time, and a lot of people objected to Pollock being replaced by Pat McAfee mm -hmm. because it disrupted the familiarity of what Saturday mornings felt like, and now David Pollock has gotten into Pollock ticks. He has, uh, he has done... <laughs> Uh, a couple of times now, he is uh, putting up the same picture, uh, demanding that uh, that we end wokeness. <laughs> was this on display anywhere during his time on that set? Like, was there a there was just there was a disguise? Was he not talking about this stuff on air or off air? What did anyone know? What his politics were? I did not. I did Politics? not know. I feel like I've. That's been a lot of the like the, Chris, go sit in the discourse box. I've seen on like Twitter today, which has been, um, by Chris. Um, <laughs> it's been all about just was David like this when we were at ESPN? It didn't really feel like he ever had this sort of like reputation with him. I mean, like maybe you could have guessed or anything, but like he was never very openly doing stuff like this or tweeting out this weird graphic that one, very heavily edited. His skin is not that clear. And he's got this Are weird... Are saying he facetuned it, Lucy? He facetuned the hell out of that photo. He's. It feels like was him leaving ESPN, what triggered this, or has he been doing this the entire time? I don't know, but man has gone off the deep end. Why is he deleting the tweets? Well, I'm assuming he decided to tweet an in wokeness me or like I don't want to call it a meme, but picture the first day of Black History Month. The response probably wasn't very positive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think it's the timing of it because Pollock has mm, waded into those waters before. This isn't the first time he's, so he's wait, trotted out a fake but you're, you're, but you're saying he's deleting it not because he takes any of it back. He just doesn't like doing it on the first day of Black Bad History timing. Month. Yes. I mean, yes. Bad he's he's going to wait till Women's History Month in March. <laughs> yeah. It's just part of the plan. I got My question about all of this is like, is he just like, does, is he programming his own stuff? Is there like some sort of organization behind all of this? Like, who's making the meme? He's I, a GOP operative. I just am very, very confused like Lucy. Like, why, why did this all start now i i've uh, talked to some people who are like yeah i'm not surprised that this is what he thinks about you know trans people or uh any sort of like quote unquote woke topics that are in the news but it's it is very like kind of out of left field i've just been following him on twitter and all he's talked about from my point of view is football for the last few years yeah. although he has tweeted a lot of like christian stuff i don't necessarily like think that that is a is a, a bad thing so i didn't see it really coming but he, uh, some the, people did the I last guess. time he did this he he was like adding joe rogan and it was just like it was it was kind of sad the guy just went through an entire college football season cycle without being hired by any of the competitors and now in in that game there there are competitors out there and uh he wasn't considered a desirable asset so this is the next move. And wokeness is often uh, being uh, supported or rationalized by a couple of camps, right? It's either uh, devoutly religious and an attack on the moralities of this country, or it's protect the kids, right? Those are the two those are the two chief places where end wokeness is most supported by whatever the rationalizations are, whether they are, I don't want my children to have this future in Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, in a mm, it's been twisted. Woke was originally created by minorities to essentially highlight what has happened. You know, <laughs> the, white, the white GOP side co-oping a phrase the same way that they co-opted fake news because fake news didn't mean originally what Donald Trump has made it turn out to be. And now woke is just this blanket that is there for disenfranchised white people to throw over a bunch of stuff. OK, so there is the the grievance of white people. There is the anger of white people. But I see it often framed when you go through the roots of some of this. I often see it framed with either religion. Just moral my morality is better than your morality. You are immoral for being liberal. Uh, the seeds of it was certainly BLM. 
And then beyond that, there's a lot of, and see, everyone can agree with this part. Everyone can agree. Yes, protect the children. Absolutely, protect the children. But <laughs> there, a, a lot is getting filed under if you're anti-gay, uh, the, the idea of grooming, anti-trans, the idea of grooming, the children have to be protected uh, from these things, from these, from liberal parents. Yeah, people care about that until they don't. <laughs> it's, David Pollock's first tweet using this horrible face-tuned image was about trans athletes in sports. This one was more about religion. Uh, maybe another reason he deleted the tweet was the first response. They kind of bodied him, and they were like, you do realize Jesus was the most woke person of all time. And David Pollock's been real quiet since. After three days.